Hello guys, welcome to my new series. It's called Y series for your solution of the gas gear acquisition syndrome. It's basically the report based on my own experience with it. So it's not sponsored by any, anyone or any company. So I hope it gives you a helpful guide for you to, you know, get yourself a good gear, get yourself a good uh, base that suits your wallet and suits your preference. You can check my other videos for this particular series that we're discussing at the end of my video. So why Yamaha PV414 made in Indonesia? It's easily becoming one of the best passive bass under 400 US dollar. It gives you a complete sound choice with a split single precision type and jazz and also both of them at the same time. It has a simple EQ just by one switch you could go instantly into the three realm of sounds the P, the J and both it's suitable for most of music genres Passive tone gives you an effective tone shaping to give you a brighter sound or to give you a mellower tone Very sturdy and comfy neck with a 10 inch radius neck for me it's very comfy to play fast neck it has a highly appealing finish with its sparkling choice of orange and red and etc. And the matching headstock is so beautiful on it. Interesting fancy knobs with a numerical on it. You know, it's printed inside of the knobs and it feels so good in your hands. It has a decent hardware and bridge, so no complaint. And the weight is also acceptable, it's 3 to 4 kilograms. I will easily rate this bass 9.5 out of 10. So for me, it's worth to try, worth to buy, and worth to collect. So what do you think, guys? Uh, is it worth to try for you? Let me know in the comments. Let me know your experience with it so far. See you in my next series. Yeah!